got a little different setup here and y'all see me do with this my little tiny tinny John Bass boat I have some things in it I don't usually have I have a life jacket and a throw cushion I don't generally put in for the small lakes I fish because I'm not fishing a small lake today I'm fixing to put my boat in on almost 56,000 acre Lake of the Ozarks look at them guys the full size bass boats it's going to be a big old lake a big experience on a little bitty boat I haven't done this in, well, since I was a kid. Not intimidating. It's going to be a good time. We'll see if we can catch some fish. So I want to talk a little bit about what I'm doing today. Um, I am on Lake of the Ozarks. Kind of my home lake, that in Truman Reservoir. For the first time in my little tinny tiny bass boat. Uh, 55,600 acre lake with uh, about 1,500 miles of shoreline. Intimidating as all get out, even in a big bass boat. I'm not intimidated, it's still just fishing. That's what you gotta keep in mind. Water temperature showing 40. Two degrees right here. It'll be warmer on out the lake a little ways. This will be the first time I've ever ran my big motor, my 15 horse big motor. Um, and I'm not gonna run it for a while because I got all the fishing I could want for this next mile up the lake here from where I put in, which is kind of important. I can't cover a bunch of water with my 15 horse engine. I don't know how much water I can cover and feel safe about it. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to fish some stuff. It'll have fish on it, guaranteed. No doubt the fish will be here. I'll catch a few fish today, I'm sure. And kind of the advantage to being in this little boat, I'll have to work things out. I, I don't have the option of firing up and running 15 miles up the lake. Uh, a couple mile run would probably be a pretty good run for me. I don't know yet. It's still foggy. It's uh, not even 40 degrees out yet. So, I'm not going to get in any hurry. I, it's going to be one of those deals. As the sun gets up, fishing should get better. Should. My little bitty boat, big old lake. Not a big deal. It's still just fishing. It's amazing. 42 degree water. That's where we should be a month from now or even later. It, that's cold in the middle of winter here. We'll get at 30 sometimes in February, but... Of course, that's surface temperature. It's not that cold down a few feet. My hands are cold. It's, it says it's not even hardly 40 degrees out here yet, but it's what we're gonna do. We're gonna piddle around a little bit, just a troll motor, different baits, try to have a good time. One of the biggest things about putting a boat in that, like this on a big reservoir is access to the water. This lake is huge and it has probably a thousand boat ramps but most of them are privately owned lanes next to houses private boat ramps there's probably what 10 11 12 public ramps not very many so putting a boat in and being where you need to be in the lake this size could be tricky um, this happens to be one of those ramps that's in a good spot could be a good spot all winter long without having to go too far and I know it like the back of my hand at least I did it's been a while since I've been here so that's the biggest thing is you have to pick your where you want to fish the areas and try to find a ramp that'll work for you this is a privately owned land all the way around this lake this isn't a core engineer lake so uh, I used to know a lot of people and I may try to research that some more as I go and try to find a few places that I can put in closer to where I want to be on any given day or any given situation. But this public ramp is working for me right now. It's all I need right now. We're going to give it a good shot.
I think the biggest secret to any kind of fishing and that a lot of guys with the high-end bass boats and the big motors like I used to run, they don't get is you have to fish everything out. You have to be thorough. And so many times, especially with a lot of horsepower, you're thinking about that next spot, that next place you want to be. You better be concentrating on what you're fishing right now because there's almost always fish where you're at. Maybe not the fish you want to win a tournament, but there's always something to be had. And just because you have a few hundred horses in the back of your boat don't mean you have to use them. And I, I learned that years ago in a John boat. It's a lesson I've never forgot to this day. I'm gonna really fish things out, fish thorough today. I'm not going to take a chance with those treble hooks. A little better bass right there. Where the temperature I'm at right now is 45 and a half degrees. It was 42 back there at the ramp though. That's just that's 10 degrees colder than it should be this time of year. Of course, that is just surface temp. But still, it's chilly early. We had a nice warm fall, and then it just flat got brutal for a couple weeks. And I'm sure the fishing is going to show some of that. That's an awful quick change. But you, you just play the cards that you're dealt, and I'm not worried about it a bit because... This lake is good all winter long. It's good all year long, but it's good in the winter time. I've caught fish here in the middle of winter. The fish are where they're at for the season, most likely. Some fish live here year round anyway. I'm gonna try a bunch of different stuff in the next few hours. Really a lot of fun having my boat on a different place. I mean, this just this back of this creek is as big as any of the lakes that I've fished since I had this boat, so. Had the boat on Truman once this summer. Had a decent day in the heat on Truman late this summer, but somehow trashed that video, hoping maybe someday I'll be able to recover some of it. It wasn't great, but I did catch some fish, but that was just troll motor only, and uh, put it on a back, back road and had some fun, caught some fish. This is totally different today. So. like to point out when it comes to my John boat on Lake of the Ozarks um, that boat has its limitations yesterday a uh, few boat wakes just one kind of big runabout run by and, and I turned the bow into that wave on purpose the bass boat waves the fishing boat wakes they're not that bad except you catch them coming off plane or going on plane but that little flat bottom boat has its limitations. My balance isn't what it used to be. So you really need to think about that. I would never get out there in that little John boat in June or July or August, uh, even where I was fishing, I'd have to, it's just too much traffic, it'd be too dangerous. It's a limit to what you can do with it. I'm gonna go so far in it, I don't know. I think I could go three or four miles in it and feel pretty safe. Uh, the motor run pretty good yesterday, it's got some small issues, but. It's just a 15 horse, a 25 knot low boat would fly, but $6,000 for a motor. I've got maybe $6,500 in the whole boat. I have fished out of some of the finest bass boats ever built. I've owned some of them, I've sponsored by them. I fished with other guys. I've fished out of quality rigs that were safe, fast, stable, lots of storage, all the things my boat really doesn't have. Those days are probably done. I can't afford a new bass boat. I give up on that idea. And if yesterday doesn't prove anything else, it, it proves one thing that I've known my whole life. The boat don't catch fish. 
I caught as many bass as a lot of guys you ever see in the area anyway, out of my little jumbo, my little teeny tiny bass boat. Uh, am I suffering to do it? Yesterday I wasn't. Matter of fact, I think it helped me yesterday some. Again, focusing, slowing down, working the areas out better. Which everybody I do with care what kind of boat you're in, you gotta work in places out, okay? Um, I there's so many times the ultimate would be to have a 20, 21 foot bass boat to get there and have a 15, 14 foot boat to fish out of. I'll be able to take it. I, I got between docks yesterday. I, I take it in there and not even think about swinging back around, coming back out with a bigger boat. Sometimes you got to back back out. You got to worry, or most people worry about scratching gel coat, them dock and cables. Horrible on boat finish. The corners of the docks, horrible on boat finish. And every time you hit one, you're putting a boo boo on your boat that you got to pay a bunch of money to get fixed or just live with and hurts the value on resale. I can, I can, I'm not going to try to quantify and, and say that I have a better deal. I know it is. I would still love to have a 20 foot bass boat with a 200 horse motor. I don't need a 250 on a 21. That's what I'd like to have. Probably never going to happen. Probably never going to fish tournaments again either. So every day I go out is a challenge to myself and my abilities and my skills. And can I figure something out where it's a pond, a creek, a small lake I got fish me up or now like the Ozarks. So I hope that makes sense to y'all. I, I had a good, I had a wonderful day. No big bass, but I hadn't fished in there in over two years. I felt like I kind of got some stuff accomplished. Um, I'll be doing more of this, more of this Lake of the Ozarks. I tend to take it on trimming this winter, possibly. Uh, Lake South here, Stockton Reservoir, I haven't been on hardly this century. If it was, it was 2000. Last year, I fished as a semi-pro. Stockton is a wonderful lake to fish in the wintertime, as is Palm de Terre and Table Rock. So, I'm hoping to do some more of those kind of videos. Now, my fishing videos are doing nothing. I get that, but I'm going to keep on doing them. I'm also going to be doing more stuff on my Hickbilly Bass Fishing Channel. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tiny bass boat stuff.